Hey guys, and welcome to Film Artsy, your number one source for all things films and movies. My name is Elijah, and interestingly enough, it seems like the CW has just always gone off in some interesting direction that maybe we never anticipated originally when you look at the CW as a network, but they have launched a lot of very interesting TV shows that have, in their own right, gained a very popular following. And what's really interesting is that this DC universe seems to be kind of all over the place with the fact that they broadcast these different shows in various different locations, which can be really confusing if you're trying to jump in and watch all of these shows in one place. Now there is the DC universe, which was a streaming service that launched that honestly hadn't performed nearly as well as maybe they thought it would when they originally launched the platform. And then there was talks of a lot of the things in DC universe being added to HBO. Max, which is HBO's new streaming service. And then of course the CW has their own television network and they have a lot of shows from the Arrowverse that are DC characters in there as well. And now if it didn't get even more confusing, it looks like Swamp Thing is actually picked up and going to be coming to the CW as well. But this story gets even weirder as the Swamp Thing actually was canceled after just one season and the CW flying in to purchase the rights to this show gave hope to some people that this would mean a new season could possibly be greenlit if the show does well. However, if you look a little bit closer, it doesn't actually look like this is the case of what the CW is wanting to do. Now, various industry analysis have made statements online suspecting that it looks like this is a move by the CW to have new shows being produced and broadcast for international television networks, as with everything that's going on and all production on various projects is being slowed down and halted, there isn't enough new content coming out on network television, and essentially they're forced to kind of look for other avenues to make sure there's still new things airing that could maybe reach a new audience, and we're seeing this show be one of those examples that's jumping on board here. It does definitely question though what's going on in the DC universe just because it's so confusing how everything has been pretty spread out and there hasn't been just a general place or general entity that is the place to go to watch everything and it does seem like there's this loose connection between everything more so than what probably there should be with how the CW has handled a lot of the things that have happened in the Arrowverse but it is really interesting to see that we're going to be seeing a show like this for some reason get picked up in a very unprecedented fashion so we did want to turn the discussion around to you guys and see what you guys think about this happening do you think that this show is a good fit do you think they should renew it for a second season surprisingly enough some of the reviews out there for this show were pretty positive and for a show like this that was probably really challenging to make it is surprising to see how successful it did end up being despite not getting a second season so let us know what you think though in the comments down below be sure to subscribe with notifications on for more videos just like this and we'll see you all next time with a brand new video bye guys I'm about to. hi everybody. Hey everybody how you doing hi. <laughs> Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> 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 See you guys.